what the um, the crop tool does is after you've worked on your document and you want to crop the document, all you do is you select it and then you move these corners to adjust which portion of your document you need to crop. This is the part we need to crop. You commit by pressing enter and then it gets rid of all the white area that we had. So this is how you crop your document using the crop tool. So if you click and hold down, we also have the slice tool, the perspective crop tool and slice select tool. Now let me show you quickly how that works. So I'm gonna cancel that, go to where I started. So I'm gonna press command Z. Right, so now say we need to use part of this for, for a web banner. So what you do is you come here you select the slice tool and then say for instance, we need to slice just that part. Okay, so now we've selected a slice. So how that works now is if you go to file, say for web, you have this option now, by the way, I'm holding down the space bar so I can move. So now you have an option of clicking on that part, give it a name, and then saving that part alone out of the whole document. So that's one way you could use this method. Now, this method is very common when you are slicing images for the web. Now, say you have several slices on there. So this could be, say, another slice down here. And let's have another one here. I can go back in there in that tool and then hit the slice select tool. So what that does now is allows me to select a specific slice to make changes to it. So if I select this one, I can go in there and make a few adjustments to it. And then click on that one, make adjustments to it. Click on that one. Maybe I've decided that, okay, I don't want to use that slice anymore. As it's highlighted here, I can just click delete and then that gets rid of it. So now that we have these two slices, what I'm gonna do is you can always come back here, file, save for the web. And now if you move this, I'm holding down the, sh uh, the, the space bar to move this document. You can select that part of the image and then save it. Or by holding down the shift key, you can select those two slices and then click save. So these two images will be saved as two separate images in your saved document.